Hello everyone, I'm Lawrence. Thank you very much for tuning in to the Unicorn Project 1. This is a three-parter build log. Today we're doing the first stage, aka the prototyping. I already have a bunch of ideas for this custom PC case built from scratch in that giant head of mine, but I'm going to put it into practice. We're going to build a cardboard prototype today. So this is my computer. It's the Inwin 303. It's a great case for anyone who wants to build a computer. It's easy to work in, all that stuff. It's also huge. It's 48 centimeters tall and deep and it's 23 centimeters wide and it just looks so empty on the inside. So that's what I'm going to come in and build my own computer case from scratch. We're going to be using a variety of woods, glass for the side panel obviously, no RGB lighting because I don't like that, but it's going to be a small case using the hardware that I already have except for the power supply because I want to save a lot of space. So here's the basic concept with Unicorn Project 1. It's going to be a small case which still uses an ATX motherboard. We're going to use a riser cable to put the graphics card flat onto the PCI slots to make it very thin. We're going to use a low profile CPU cooler, not a water cooler because those tubes look kind of stupid in my opinion. And we're going to make sure the case is not much bigger than an ATX motherboard. So on the one side we'll have the motherboard, the cooler and the graphics card and on the other side we're going to have a small SFX power supply and our SSD. That should be enough for my computing needs.
All right, so let me show you around Unicorn Project 1. This is the glass side panel of my Inwin 303. As you can see, it's about 10 centimeters longer or taller actually, because it's on its side for reasons I'll mention in a bit. It's also about 10 centimeters um, higher or longer. So the way I'm going to do it is very similar and that's why I have it turned. So I'm going to have borders on each end, uh, probably on the top as well. And it's going to hinge. So there's going to be hinges at the back and the side panel will just sway open like so. Um, which I'm also going to do on the other side of the case. So this is the layout of the case on the main chamber, so where the window and the motherboard is. Um, there will be dual 140mm fans, so those will go in the bottom like so, um, two next to each other. And then this is where the motherboard goes. Now on top of the motherboard, as you can see, there's a little bit of room here for air and of course the riser cable, which will have to do the sort of S-bend, and the graphics card will go in here. Now with the graphics card in here and the motherboard behind it, I only have the height of an ATX motherboard. Um, well, basically, you know, it's a very powerful system that's going to be in there, but it's going to be very small. Um, also, something that I just noticed while I was doing the mock-up is that the 24 pin will be here and the power um, 6 pin, uh, 8 pin on my card for the graphics card will be here. So both get to go through this tiny little hole. Then I also just need one single hole for a SATA here for my SSD and another hole for the 8 pin here at the top. Now, this hole I may not need, so if I go with a different motherboard, and that's the reason why I want an ATX board, is if I go with a NVMe M.2 drive, I can just put the drive onto the motherboard, something I can't do with uh, an ITX case. So I know I could just buy a small ITX case, uh, but I would lose that sort of functionality in most of the cases. Now, this is basically the main chamber, so as you can see, it's going to be incredibly simple. Now, I did notice that I have some room here, so the reason I made this is just so that I can do some measurements and then make sure the measurements are right and to just have an idea how everything will fit. Um, but I do notice that I do have some room here, so I may just put the SSD on the front here or even on the side, depending on how long I want to make the case. But the main idea was to put every ugly bit really on this other side. So there's going to be a door which hinges open. See that guys? I actually put tape on there to make a hinge. And I've did some measurements and basically there's enough room here to put an SFX power supply. So there's also going to be a cutout around here so that the SFX power supply can breathe. So the power supply is going to breathe through these fans, through a little bit of a gap here, but also through the back of the motherboard where I'll be putting a cutout. Um, because obviously power supplies are getting really efficient, they don't need that much cooling to work properly. Um, so that's going to work perfectly fine. And I can just tape the entire rest of the back of this motherboard plate just completely full with SSDs if I want to. All right then guys, so there you have it, our first uh, mock-up prototype for Unicorn Project 1. It's a tiny ATX case with a folded graphics card design. I hope it's going to work very well. Now, why is this video a three-parter? Basically, because now that I've got this thing, I can get some real measurements, can get it all made out of like nice quality wood, have it all CNC done, because it's a lot more interesting for you guys to watch me do something stupid out of cardboard than to see me work on a computer using some CAD software for hours and hours on end, I guess. So that's why we did this first part. The second part, um, sometime in the future, I can't give you deadlines or anything like that. We will have this case made out of real wood, probably without the gloss, um, but the real wood parts will be there. And then I can just start you know, putting in the orders for the riser, the standoffs, an I.O. because we'll need to be able to turn it on and have front I.O., stuff like that. That's all in the next video. And in our final video, we're going to put the hardware in it. Now, I'm currently running this hardware. I may transfer it over to this one. Um, I can even run this all-in-one cooler if I just raise, well, make the case two centimeters or two and a half centimeters higher. Um, but I'm probably going to go with a top flow cooler, so I don't quite know yet just how wide I'm going to make it. Um, but there will probably be other hardware in there than you see in here, because this is all pretty old stuff. Now, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or tips for me on how I can make uh, Unicorn Project 1 as good as I possibly can, that's what the comment area is for. But also if you have questions, stuff like that, if you want to do your custom DIY case yourself, then we may be able to talk and give each other tips, stuff like that. Now, if you already liked this video, press that like button. And if you didn't, there's the dislike and the subscribe button for when I make a video that you do like. 
Now, if you want to support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description below. So just like the awesome people on your screen right now, you can support the channel. And uh, there's also Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for awesome pictures and random tweets and Facebook posts about stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys sometime in the future with part two of Unicorn Project One. Thank you very much for watching.